Welcome to Ground Control and I wanted to give you uh, an update, a tip on this Crazy Bee flight controller that's in this Mobula 7 because it has a rebooting issue where the flight controller will just just reboot and from watching reviews of other quadcopters I know there are other quadcopters that have this flight controller in it that are having the same kind of issue. Now the reviews that I watched, the reviewers were calling it a fail-safe as though the receiver was losing contact with the transmitter and I maybe they were having that issue, I don't know, or maybe they were flying it with FPV goggles on when it happened, but um, I always test my I always test the stability of the quadcopters via line of sight before I ever put the FPV goggles on and I don't have my failsafe set for just dropping out of the sky. I have mine set to land. So that is another way that you can test to see if it's actually a failsafe issue. But what I saw when I was flying this line of sight was that the LEDs would completely go out on the flight controller and it would drop out of the sky. The motors would stop. And so I knew it was not a failsafe issue that was going on with this flight controller. Otherwise, you know, if I had lost contact with it, it would have gone into landing mode rather than just the motor stop. And then as soon as it would hit the floor, I was hovering it inside. As soon as it hit the floor, the flight controller would come back up, the motors would spin back up and it would come back up. And this was happening every 10 to 15 seconds. So, so um, in the manual for this Mobula 7, it stated that um, they knew there was a firmware bug with the PID update, uh, the PID loop update frequency, and they said to set, set it to two. So I s did that. I set it to two, and and I was still having the issue. So then I went into Betaflight and I set the gyro update frequency from eight, which was stock, to four, and then that took care of the issue. I didn't have another reboot on the flight controller. So. To do a little further testing with it, I went back into Betaflight and I moved the PID uh, loop update frequency back up from 2 to 4, which is what it was when I first received the quad. And so, and then I went and I tested it again and ran several battery packs through it and I never had another flight controller reset. So, um, it looks like this bug is at least in my case, is directly related to the gyro update frequency and not the PID update frequency. So um, I'll throw up on the screen right now uh, the configuration screen for Betaflight with the with the configuration outlined outlined in a red red box there to show you exactly what I have mine set to. And so the stock gyro update frequency was eight. The PID update frequency was four. Um, I found that if I just moved the gyro update frequency from eight to four and then left the PID update frequency at four the way it was, I didn't have any other problems with the flight controller resetting. So if you guys have a similar issue and you think it might be related um, to something else like uh, a fail safe issue, then set your quadcopter up to land instead of fall out of the sky and at least that should rule out um, it being a uh, receiver issue where you're getting a fail safe because if you have it set to land you're it's it's not just going to fall out of the sky if your flight controller is resetting then it is going to fall out of the sky regardless of how you have your fail safe set up so so there's a tip for you, just, just a troubleshooting tip, and what I found corrected the issue that I had with the Mobula 7 right out of the box. And this is not the version 1, this is the version 2. And like I said, I know that there are other uh, power whoops um, like this one, different brands, that are using the same flight controller that have the same issue. So hopefully that will save you some frustration and get your quadcopter up and flying the way it should. So thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the air.